Why did they do that? It's yeah. like right in front of La Estrella Bakery. Oh, right. That's a good bakery though. You guys are ever in Tucson? <laughs> Get your bread and your tortillas from there. They are bomb. We were just talking about that yesterday. Yeah, that's where I met Max. On Irvington and Campbell. Irvington and Campbell, yeah. That Chinese buffet that was there too was used to be really good on the other side of oh, yeah, the shopping the street, center. Yeah. The now, gosh, I heard buffets are really gross. Yeah, I mean, they're interesting. <laughs> they opened up a huge buffet here in Tucson. Have you gone to it? What is it called? Lin's? No, I'm not. not. You've been to Lin's, haven't you? Yes. And it's gross? Like, I heard you, they give you, like, paper plates. Let's see, if anyone wants to know where you at now... I actually don't do nails anymore. Um, they said Irvington and 12, the old Texas place. That was my nail salon. But I know the queen before that. Before she, that. She knew me at my first nail salon job. First nail salon job. So we're going to use Razor Clear to apply the one, two, three, go party nails. We're using number one today. Apply a little B. Apply right there. Beautiful. Press down. Hold it for a few seconds. So when did you go to Disneyland with the with the baby boy? Uh, we went to we did California Adventure um, last year mm -hmm. um, when they opened up that new Marvel campus. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. Um, I haven't gone yet to see the uh, Star Wars. Thing. Oh, you only did one park? We only did one park because we had like a short like amount of time, so we did that. Um, I was actually there the day they opened up the Avengers Campus. That's really cool. It was my birthday last year because I go to Disneyland every year on my birthday. That's nice. And they wouldn't let me go into the Avengers Campus because they didn't have it like because it was just the day that they opened up, so it was uh, like like a four hour wait just to like walk in it. Yeah. And this year when I went again, I went on the Spider Man ride. Did you go on it? Yeah, we did. Did you like it? You know what? I thought it was gonna be different. I thought it was boring. I was like, "This I is it." it. Be, and, and you know what? By the time your arms were tired. <laughs> and it's it's pretty dumb. All you do is this. Yes. <laughs> you web sleep. <laughs> you web sleep. <laughs> like this. Like the girl that sat next to me got a high score because all she was doing was this no. the whole time. Okay, we are at forty six. Oh, we're halfway there, you guys. Let's try to get to 100. So that way we can do a giveaway at the end of the video. I do have to admit, I do like the Guardian of the Galaxy ride. That one's pretty cool. Yes, I mean, it's, it's like the other ride, except they just changed it. It's always kind of like vibrating, like shaking. It's, 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 I don't know, it's scary. I don't like it. <laughs> and the Cars ride is fun, too. The Cars ride is awesome. I love the Cars ride. Did you go on the uh, Little Mermaid ride? We went on the Little Mermaid. We went on Cars. We, um, we went on... The Incredible Coaster? No, there was a, a long, 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 long line for that one. After the video is over, remind me to tell you the secret to get into uh, the fast lines. I will tell you the real tea. I don't know if uh, Where are you going? Are you going to go party? I could have sworn today was Friday. That's why I was like, hey, listen, you want to go to the strip club? Was it? Raina? You could do Lucy's invoice. Okay. Where's the paperwork though? Where's the paperwork? Behind me? Yeah. You just have to you type in the products first and then uh, we'll update the prices right now. What they are? From last time? Mm-hmm. We're at 45. Ooh, come on you guys, like and share this video, post it in your favorite group. I would like to visit Disneyland for Halloween. That would be fun. Oh, it is. Have you ever been for Halloween? No. It is so awesome. So, have you ever been for um, um, like Christmas time, like holiday yes. time? Yes. It is. It's just like that, but Halloween themed. So they have like um, pumpkins, um, like jack o' lanterns everywhere. The the um, the haunted house. They turn it into um, a nightmare. Oh, they do that for Christmas too. They do that for Christmas too. Um, they also do. Um, it looks really cool. You know, the decorations are just amazing. 
because when I went to Tokyo Disneyland, I went January 1st and it was decorated still for Christmas. And in Disney World, when I go in January, um, we still have the decorations up. But that would be fun just to see like the a lot of all the villains out and things like that. Yes. Even though I'm not the kind of person to like walk to the characters and introduce them because why would a grown man want to take a picture with like a Disney character? That's for kids. I'd be too embarrassed. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, a lot. I am amazed as to how many like Disney adults there are, you know? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a culture now almost. Trying to cling on to the one thing that you know is consistent and safe in their life. I'm pretty sure there's a lot like a deeper psyche to it. <laughs> but I think that's kind of cool to like people like around our generation, they kind of like are able to not cling on but like still embrace a lot of the things from our past versus like maybe our parents that didn't get that kind of chance to. Right. Right, because it would be frowned upon. Yeah, they're like, why are you still trying to play with toys? Right. Why are you watching cartoons? Yes. But I tell my mom I'm a man baby. That's alright. Nothing wrong with that. Because my room is Mickey Mouse, actually. That's alright. Whatever makes you happy. That's but it's from, your... pot it's from Pottery Barn, so it's, it's acceptable because it, it's, it's classic. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's nice and fancy. Mickey, Mickey Mouse. Mouse. Well, sorry guys in the comments. And I was, I was smart because uh, I, when I bought the bed sheets, I bought them at regular price. And then this year I wanted to rebuy them and they were on clearance. And I was like, oh, now I have two of the same. So now we're just waiting for their click to finish the polymerization process. Let me make sure the comments are working over here. Yeah. Everybody's really quiet today. But let me share the video. That will help as well too. Because I got to share my own video. Go. Have you been to Universal Studios Hollywood? We just went um, in uh, August, uh -huh. and that was really cool. Did you like it? I did. You know, it was different. I hadn't been there was, like, in two a rides very only? long time. There were only like, two rides, but um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was. I hadn't uh, done the. Um, I don't think I had been to Universal Studios probably over like ten years. Like, oh, wow, it's been a minute. So it's been a while. Studio tour, the backlot tour mm -hmm. is like way different than what it was before. My mom said that like back in the day it was really good. Now she's like, that's it. Yeah, it was different. It was uh, they incorporated a lot of like 4D into that tram thing. Um, yeah, because the King Kong is like it's asleep. Yeah. And I remember the guy that was like doing the tour. He was like, oh, be quiet, everyone. King Kong's asleep, and I was like, isn't that supposed to be, supposed to be like moving around or something? Well, it's different now. Like it's all um, it's all animated. Oh yeah, yeah, you're in the. And the tube that moves around. I mean, it's cool. I had never done that, so. But, um, I'm like, I want to get off the thing and like see the actual sets. Yeah, that, that would, would be, be cool. Super cool. You can for like an additional 200 bucks. I'm sure you can. I'm sure. Um, what else do we do? Um, but the oh, Transformers was cool. That's the Harry Potter. Um, it had like this Harry Potter like light show that shows all the different. Oh, like they're like what is Gryffindor and all that kind right. of stuff. Mm -hmm. so oh, that's they, cool. It's really cool. They they show this big like light show on the actual like castle. Oh, kind of like um, a Disney kind of thing. It's it, it's almost kind of like the their version of Disney. Yes. Yes. So we're gonna use gummy gel to adhere some diamonds to these Wendy's. Wendy says hello. Hi, Wendy. Thanks for joining us today. So just take gummy gel and apply wherever you're gonna be putting the diamonds. I've been to um, both the one in Orlando and the one in California, and the one in Orlando definitely has more rides, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have the tour. Right, the movie aspect. Yeah. Right. Which is, I guess, what people really want when they go to Universal, they want to see like, the movie stuff. Like, they have the E.T. ride in, in Florida still. Oh, but yeah, they don't have that. In the California Potter, anymore. The Harry Potter ride was pretty cool, too. That get, does it give you a little bit of a headache when you get off? You're like, it whoa. Does. I feel like a martini. It's, it's, like they shake you like yeah, this. Especially, yeah, with that 
big old like simulator thing. Got a few thumbs up. Because you guys know we love our bling here at Eno Support Uncle. Go big or go home, that's how we do it on the south side. That is right. So we're going to use a mix of diamond polish, and very soon we're going to use a unicorn opal because it looks really pretty against this. What would you call this color? Like a lavender or like a... Yeah, I would say like a lavender. Like a muted like lavender. Periwinkle. Periwinkle. Mm -hmm. So I got the pinky, we're using our bling tool to pick them up. the bling of the phalanges. I feel like when it comes to nail art, everybody, we always overthink it. We always like, oh, I should do this, I should do that. Just have fun with it. And then that's when it gets really organic and really beautiful. And don't forget, you guys, we still have one space available for upcoming class in Phoenix, Arizona. So if you want to come and experience the fantasy live two days, come and enjoy. And Phoenix will be have really nice weather in October. Like it's finally starting to cool down. Like I see people posting about like, oh, it's fall and autumn and this and that. I'm like, we don't have that where I live. No season. We have hot and hotter. We have sun and sun and then... And sweat. And then rain for like maybe... A month. A month in the desert. I'm like, that would be nice to see like leaves turn orange and whatnot, but we don't have any of that. We have dirt. We have dirt. <laughs> and mesquite trees. Oh my god, they're the worst. I think the only nice thing about living here is that we don't have any natural disasters. No. But we hope everybody's safe. Yes. Because that is scary. That's one of the reasons why I didn't end up leaving the Texas is because, you know, I can't, with my dad's health and everything like that, I couldn't imagine putting my parents through, like, you know, a hurricane or a flooding or anything like that. Because we wouldn't know what to do. I think if you yeah. live there, you kind of like are no, used to it. Yeah. You're prepared. You have a safety plan. But for us, we'd be like, uh huh? Flooding. We'd hear the alarm and we'd be like, what's that? Tacos? <laughs> Is the food ready? Where's the tacos? Yeah. <laughs> Where? Don't it? Uh, those tacos. Have you ever been to Velvet Taco on your many travels? No. Where is that at? I think there's one in LA, but I went, I went to the one in Houston, mm -hmm. and it's like tacos, but like really cool flavors. Like I had a chicken and waffle taco, I had a curry taco, just like really like random stuff in the tortilla. Nanita Camacho, cactus. Yes, yes, girl. We got Lots cactus. of cactus. As a matter of fact, I got a cactus tattoo on my uh, on my wrist here. I remember one time I was leaving the airport and these people, they must have been tourists because they were going outside and like taking pictures of the cactus right there. Yes. And I was like, why? Such an ugly plant. <laughs> and it's prickly. A lot of people trip out when I tell them about jumping choyos. Yeah, they're legit. I'm like, yeah, we have this plant here that jumps and it like claws itself into your flesh. It is not fun. They hurt like a mofo. Everybody's laughing. <laughs> it's true. I think if I would have moved it, one of the things I would have missed the most is um, the mountains though. That's one of the really nice things about I think that's the only nice thing about living in Texas. I think my favorite is um, sunsets. Oh yeah, we do have really beautiful sunsets. I think, breathtaking. I think uh, Arizona sunsets are just beautiful. Yeah, Very like breathtaking. The, the sky turning turquoise and orange and fuchsia and all that stuff is really beautiful. And then the thing about Tucson is no matter where you are, when you look outside, you'll see mountains. Every single like point of view. Beautiful. Let's make this for one minute. And Houston is flat. And so is Dallas. So I remember in town. Have you ever been to Dallas? I have. have. Do you know where the reunion tower, that sphere mm -hmm. downtown? So we sat at the hotel next to it. At the high up. So I think we stayed like on the 14th floor. And I looked out of the window and onto yonder. You could probably see like about 100 miles out. Because everything was just Every, flat. Yeah, everything is and I was like, where do you know where north and south is? That's so <laughs> uncanny. It's 
it's flat. There's no uh, landmarks. Big. Like here, like if you go to the mall, you look outside, you're like, oh, there's Mount Lemon, I know where that is. Or like, there's a mountain, I know where that is. I know what side of town I'm on. And over there, I look out and it's just flat. Yeah. But we don't have trees, though, which is kind of sad. No trees. No flowers. No you, plant, flowers. you plant flowers, they die in the summer. <laughs> Everything grows. Um, we, have, uh, we have planted some uh, flowers in our backyard like, last summer. And, um, and it was so hot, and, and we left out of town. Got off the plants in the back to have a person who's watching your house water them. We came back, all the, the top parts of the flowers were burnt. <laughs> like they were brown and it wasn't brown like they dried up. It was literally the sun. Beat them up. Like they, it, they, That's why people are like, oh, I love outdoor activities in Arizona. I'm like, do you have a death wish? No. Only, only in the fall and early spring. Or winter. That, those two weeks of cold that we get that it's like 50 degrees. I'm like, oh, why can't it be like this all the time? That's the only time we can wear our leather jackets. <laughs> For real. You guys know me and my, I love my, my Gucci shopping and my rep is like, oh look, we got new sweaters and hoodies. I'm like, dude, I still have stuff from last year that I haven't worn because it's too hot. Yes. Like cardigans and vests and stuff like that. You can't really wear it because it's too hot. Only in Arizona can you barbecue for Christmas. Right. And you can't go swimming on the like at the pool. I have family members that come down from like Canada. Mm -hmm. And they I, at the time I remember I was living in this like gated community, they have like a community pool. Mm -hmm. And they were like, Oh, can we go to the pool? And it's like middle of December. I'm like, sure. You're like it's 75 degrees. And we're like, on parkas. And everybody is like driving by looking at them like they're weirdos. And, and they're, they're like, like oh. they're shorts. They're like 75 degrees, they're like, get a fan, turn on the AC. We were loving it. Meanwhile, I remember walking up with my big old jacket. You guys, cool, here's the house key, bye. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But it's true. We get a lot of snowbirds. A lot of snowbirds. And Phoenix is too. A lot of people coming all over. The bad thing about Phoenix though, which is our, our big city here in Arizona, is that it takes like two hours to get anywhere in Phoenix. Yes. The, the traffic there is starting to get like LA. And Phoenix is like ridiculous. Yeah, Phoenix has pretty good freeways, but it's confusing. It's like one loop into the other, into the other, into the other. I'm like, what's going on? There's two loops a big loop around the city, and then a medium loop in the middle. And then you got Phoenix, the ones that go the north, south, east, west. And Tucson has one. Tucson has one. And because this, people are grouchy and they don't want to make a loop here. They need to, though. We need one that goes east to west. Right? Yes. Agreed. And it's and probably going to take... It takes you like outside of the city and back around. And it's going to take like 20 years to build it too. Yeah. Because of bureaucracy. Like the little, uh, that little link train. That nobody rides? <laughs> that took forever to be built. It took like 20 years to be built. And it cost God knows how many millions of dollars. I always see it empty. I've only seen it like used like a few times like on the weekend, like on a Saturday night or something. I think a lot of students use it. You go back and forth, though. But the TCC, the TCC ain't popping like a lot of times of the year. They used to, uh, yeah. The comic, I went to Comic Con. Oh, I went to Comic Con too. Did you really? I, did. I went on Sunday. I went Saturday. Did you go dressed up? I wore a Wonder Woman crown. Ooh. And were people taking pictures with you? No, I was just around. They were much cooler costumes. <laughs> Go to put that in There's some really cool ones. Did your son dress up? He had an Iron Man mask. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, I was surprised that like, they've thrown so much money at the TCC and it still like feels very 80s, doesn't it? Yeah, it's fast. Still, I think they still that, look the same. The 80s carpet in like that print, like that weird zigzaggy 80s print. Yeah. I'm like, wow. They keep throwing money at it and they still don't fix it. But I was surprised at I had never been to Comic Con before. That was the first time for me too. Yeah, that was my first time and there was a lot of vendors. A lot of people. A lot, a lot of people. I was surprised as to how many people were there. Um, and like like you said, like different of everything. Young, old. Everything. Everything. There was I think there was every walk of life there. Like it wasn't what I had envisioned like Comic Con being, right? And there was Young people, older people, uh, people in costumes, like every color, every, every flavor, everything. People in shape, people in shape, people out of shape. Yes. 
and there was like a suicide prevention booth, and I was like, ooh, that, that, that bums it down. Yeah. Can you thumb for me a little bit? But it was a cool experience. I don't know if I would do it again, though. Because it is expensive. It was. I mean, we, I we paid, came out of there, like, spending. I got one thing. Yeah, I got that bunny doll. That was that one right there. Oh. That was 400 bucks. Yeah, my, but I was like, uh, I can't leave without anything. My son got some Funko Pops. Oh yeah, those kids love those. And he got a few Funko Pops and a few like, like some artwork. And, and you're like, don't ask for anything for Christmas. Yeah, this and is it was it. like 150 dollars, you know. They're like, don't ask anything for Christmas. This is your Christmas present, your birthday present, everything. So remember, you guys. After the hand comes out of the lamp, we're gonna wait 10 seconds to let the nails finish the polymerization process. And I didn't eat there either. We had. Uh -huh. It was actually decent. It wasn't too bad. I should have sold these at uh, Comic Con now. You could have. There, there was a, a stand that had these really cool big mats. Mm -hmm. really awesome. I was like, now next year I know that I'm gonna like set up a little booth and sell some press on nails because they were selling like um, I think soaps and things like that. Soaps, a lot of jewelry. I was like, I should be a um, copyright infringement attorney, so that way I could probably just serve everybody here. <laughs> That's the first thing that came to my mind. I was like, these people are stealing intellectual property. That is illegal. Wendy! Amy, suicide prevention is very important. It is. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. But it's good that, you know, they're they're putting themselves up to make themselves available at things like this. So that way, it kind of takes the shame out of it. Do you know what I mean? Or the embarrassment to have it uh, readily available at something so casual and fun like a Comic-Con. Look at that. Oh, she is ready for the party. Ready. Look at that. That is a money shot right there. That is Barbie Harajuku Bojangles Realness. <laughs> well, my loves, that's going to wrap up our little demo for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for coming out, my love. And we will see you guys in the next live video tomorrow. Bye, everyone.